Hey YouTube. Today we are going to open a 55 gallon steel drum the safe way. When I was a kid, back in my hometown, a guy that owned a garage, I'm talking 40 years ago, decided to open up a 55 gallon drum with a torch. Come to find out it was full of kerosene vapor or something waste oil or something. Make a very long, sad story short, basically blew his garage up. Didn't get killed, amazingly. Stove him up pretty good. He was out of work for six months. And sort of always haunted me my whole life. But these things are really handy for all kinds of things like storage, want to make a burn barrel, whatever. I mean, if you store copper, you know, if you save copper off the job sites and stuff, it's a great way to store it. But anyway, all you really need is one of these barrel openers. And this is from a company called Uline, U-L-I-N-E. It's about 60 bucks and it's non-sparking. It's really easy to use. And I'm going to show you how to do that. Do is you loosen up your adjustment head, which is this. Slide it over the side of the barrel. Snug it up. Then you just simply Opening up a tuna can. Don't try to take off too much at once, though. Take a little bit of time. And this gives you a smooth, non. In other words, you're not going to get cut off this. It's not sharp, it dulls it. Let's use these for everything. When you get to the almost finished, you actually take it off and you come in from the back side. Because once that bends down, you just take come in from this side and cut it back. So You get yourself a really good target, or well, whatever you want to use it for. Hang that up. Like I say, well, you got to turn around and cut it at the end. You just have to pound over about an inch, inch and a half of uh, sharp edges. But basically, get yourself a barrel. Now, I cut the bottom off because this is going to be a burn barrel, and I want the water to drain out of it. Obviously, if I was going to use it for storage, I'd have cut the other end off. So, anyway, there you go. 